Hi Church, my name's Rob and I'm part of our audacious North location based in the north of Manchester. It is an absolute privilege to be able to share this devotion with you today um, and I hope whatever time you, you watch this, um, whether it's in the morning, whether it's at lunchtime or whether it's into the evening, I really hope you find encouragement from the words I share and the, the verses from, from the Bible that uh, I've included in this devotion. This devotion is, is based on some of my favourite verses um, from the Bible. It's based on Matthew 5 and verses 14, 15 and 16. And in these, in these verses, Jesus is talking to a crowd and he's sharing about who, who they are, who they are in God's eyes and what they should do. And I love this. I love the fact that Jesus was being really specific um, and he was being extremely helpful to the people in that in that group who'd kind of got together to listen to, to Jesus's teachings, but also to us, you know, 2000 years later, you know, we can we can read these words and these are absolutely applicable for us right now because this is coming straight from the word of God to us, to our ears and to our hearts right here in 2021. And verse 14 kicks it off immediately with, this is who you are. It's really concise, really clear, and it's really direct. And it says that you and I are the light of the world, full stop. You and I are the light of the world, full stop. And just take a minute to kind of let, you know, let that sink in. That's who you are. That's who I am. That's amazing. That is, that is absolutely a phenomenal statement. Um, and then it goes on. It goes on and talks about, actually, we are the light of the world, but this is what you should do with your light. You should share it. Um, and I love this because, you know, we can often take light for granted when you flick a light switch, the light comes on. When you go out into the, into the, the, you know, the street at night, there's often lights and lamps lighting the way. When you kind of, you know, get in the car and you, you know, turn the engine on, you sometimes, you know, modern car, they just switch the lights on automatically. Older ones, you switch the lights on, but lights are there. They're just instantaneous. We don't really have to think about them. But 2000 years ago, there were no batteries. There were no light switches. There were no light bulbs. Um, there was no electricity. Light was extremely precious and that would have amplified would have, it would have amplified this, this message to people as they understood, wow, light and light availability is really precious. Therefore, being the light of the world is, is really important. It's a really amazing privilege to be. And that's who we need to be for, you know, for Jesus to share our light in the situations and circumstances. And in verse 15 and then 16, it talks about actually not hiding the light, you know, a city on a hill, it says, can't be hidden. And I used to fly a lot with work back in the days when we could fly. And I used to fly at night over, you know, Asia, across kind of, you know, um, the Middle East. And you'd see mountain regions at night and you'd see the cities lit up. They couldn't hide themselves because every house had lights, every street had lights. And you could just see these cities, these towns on a hill that just could not be hidden. In the same verse, it talks about the, the light, you know, in a lamp. And that you shouldn't put a bowl on the top of it because that actually isn't helpful for anybody. But actually, we should share our light. We should use it in the situations and circumstances we find ourselves. And we should bring that light into our worlds with our family, with our friends, with our colleagues, with other people that we come into contact on a daily basis. We should shine brightly and we should do those great deeds that are talked about in verse 16 that those people may see the good deeds that we do. And then ultimately, I think most importantly for God, we glorify our Father in heaven by living for him and shining bright and showing people his love in our day to day as we go about our lives. And I just love, I love that in these three short verses, just such an impact of, you are the light of the world. You should shine bright and you shouldn't hide yourself. And you should shine bright in the situations and circumstances you'll find yourselves and the deeds that you do that people will see and that that will bring glory to God. I just love that. I think it's so encouraging. And I hope you found this, this devotion encouraging today. I just want to pray as we close, if that's OK. Father God, I just thank you for everyone who's watching this video, who is just reading these verses in Matthew 5. I pray that each and every one of us will take your light 
into our world, into every situation and every circumstance we encounter today, every person that we speak to or, or we share with. And I pray that we do this ultimately to glorify you, Father God, in heaven. I just pray this for everybody in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a, have a great day, church. Thanks so much for listening to this, um, this devotion, and I'm sure I'll see you soon.